we want to express our uh, sympathy, uh, our solidarity with the communities uh, that have been affected. And uh, this is our way, the best way that we can offer our, uh, we can turn our grief into prayers is that we have uh, uh, congregational prayers on such an occasion. As a whole Canada, we, uh, we are a community that are very close to each other. So our whole heart goes out to those who, you know, who, are the, who were affected and we want to show our support, whatever we can, and we hold this prayer. For, for being here is to, is to show our, uh, our pain and, uh, uh, and respect towards the Bronco brothers. Um, uh, as a youth uh, president, um, I mean, we have all, all the teams here, volleyball, basketball uh, teams, and we know how hard they work to, uh, to achieve uh, the, the position they were in. Um, and when we heard about this incident, it was it was such a tragic accident, and uh, and right away we, we called everybody and, and make sure that everybody goes to the blood bank and uh, uh, and donate blood there and help out any way possible we can. It was a total shock. We couldn't believe that uh, so many young lives aspiring to be uh, seeing uh, their uh, life in the world. Uh, would uh, have uh, such a, a sudden uh, end to their uh, uh, lives. Always ready to help those who are in need, and especially in these uh, difficult times, we are here. And also, as I mentioned, that I went two days ago to meet the mayor, and we, you know, ask him that if you need anything, we are here to help. Uh, to show our uh, um, solidarity and our uh, sharing of this grief uh, with the tragedy, uh, with the families affected. Uh, I'm planning to visit Humboldt uh, later after the service. Um, we we want to show our support any way possible. And uh, we'll, we all be going to Humboldt today to, uh, <coughs> to visit the visual and, and be, be a part of the, part of the Humboldt community here.